His name is Nathan Fan, and his videos have millions and millions of views, and he's performing at Pittsburgh at Liberty Magic, but he will tell you that he is not just a magician. Yeah, in fact, he says he is a polymath. So Nathan <laughs> is here live with us in the studio. We'll ask you about polymath in a second, but you have something to show us first. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. I just realized that I probably need to get rid of I've got a little uh, fake board I was just saying, but I'm just going to get rid of that so that we can uh, move on with the rest of the thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can check. It's not up the sleeves. Where not did that go? Jacket. I, you know, that's the thing. Uh, you know, I <laughs> just wanted to make sure everyone is awake now that we're awake. Well, that was ready. a so fantastic a start. Yes, excellent. <laughs> um, so a polymath Wait, is so I need that in my I don't have pockets, but I feel like I need confetti. Okay, all the time. okay. I'll, I'll, I know a guy. I'll set you up okay. with a good supply of confetti. <laughs> Um, so a polymath is someone with a wide-ranging uh, uh, knowledge and expertise, basically. Someone who does a lot of different things, uh, or a renaissance man, or something like that. Uh, and that's kind of what I am in, in the world of magic, because I grew up, in addition uh, to, to doing magic, I also got into musical theater. Uh, I trained as a writer at an art school for four years. Uh, I went into stand-up comedy. I went semi-viral on YouTube doing uh, impressions and that sort of thing. So I, do, uh, I did improv. Uh, so I just kind of do a bit of everything. I play musical instruments and singing in the show. So yeah, it's just kind of Holy as many cow. of my skills as possible into one like 90 minute kind of journey of having fun with me essentially. Well, I was gonna say, it's yeah. like your expertise is just making people have fun and laugh and smile. Yeah, basically okay, just, uh, yeah, just performance art in general. Cause uh, yeah, I'm working on ventriloquism and I'm trying to add some tap dancing into the Better show. Yeah, me. it's just, yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's right, I'll teach you, pull back. Okay. Here we go, let's go. Um, <laughs> I let's talk right. about Liberty Magic, yes, the oh. venue, because what, one of the things that I love about it is that it's it's small. It really, it, you feel like, much like we're very close yeah, as you did that absolutely. trip. The front like, row was probably right about as far away from me. Yeah, that's how far away yeah. it is. Uh, yeah, Liberty Magic is this amazing, they call it a speakeasy theater, because it's uh, in a store, you look at a storefront, and you're like, oh, this kind of looks like a magic shop, I guess, and then they take you through a curtain that says private for magicians and assistants only, and then there's this lovely, like, 60-seat theater that's nicely raked, wide angle, so if you sit off to the side, you're like, all right, I'm going to catch you, magic boy, and then, bam, it happens right in front of your face. Uh, it's so <laughs> much magic fun. Boy. Magic boy is my favorite. Yeah, magic boy. <laughs> I got called that a lot. So I grew up in Scotland, and so I, I had a lot of nicknames growing up. One, we man. Man, we Asian man, magic Asian man, and the magic boy was very, all right, magic boy, let's see a track then, you know, <laughs> all the time is what they would say. All right, well, we'll still call you Nathan if that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely and we, fine. And we would like to see a, another trick, because okay. that, that one amazed us so much. Tell you what, I have here, uh, I have some, so tell you what, here's a couple of lists. I want you to do me a favor, and then on the other side, there's like name, there's like faces and stuff. I don't know if we're allowed to show them. camera. So go ahead and take a look through there, and I'm going to do a card trick for you while doing impressions. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Okay. Uh, go you ahead and just give someone? me impressions. Yeah. And then what we'll just kind of do, uh, I'll do a little bit of magic. So, which, uh, just tell me who. Just say it out loud and um, I'll... Let's go. do Spongebob. Spongebob, hey. Okay. Ah, I'm ready, I'm ready to do a card trick for you. Take a card. Maybe and we should have picked somebody else. No, 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 <laughs> name another one. We can keep it moving. Mrs. Doubtfire. Right. You for Janaya Doubtfire, dearie. You've picked a card, memorize the card. Don't forget it, pop it. Okay, right. Elvis Presley. Okay, <laughs> show it to the... All right, baby. Show the, show the playing card to the camera. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's right. Show the playing card now. <laughs> All right, now plays it back into the day. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right, Robin What's Williams. That? Oh, yes, here we go. We're going to do a fantastic card trick for you already in this gorgeous Llewellyn space. Yes, it's a good thing. I know. It's so bright in here. Yes, I'm going to see if I can find your card. It's going to jump out of the deck. Like Peekaboo! Yes, coming right out of the deck. What was your card? Ooh, out of the deck, one card comes flying. Yes, it flies through the air with the greatest oh, of ease. A daring it. young man on the flying trapeze. Yes. That's it. Uh, All right, one more. Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. And I think to myself, can I find your card? <laughs> and I think to myself, is this it in my pocket? Oh, oh wait, yeah. How did it get down there? there? We <laughs> well, you know, that is uh, the thing that people always wonder. And you know what? If you want to learn more about my show and come to see me, it, I don't know if we can get a better, if you can see the which camera are we on? This one over here. Watch the Ten of Hearts, because if I get a little shake, it changes. Come see me in Polymath of Magic at Liberty Theater. Look at that. It's amazing. amazing. Incredible. Um, the, do you have more confetti? I, just, I do. Here, I'll let you throw okay. it this time. Here, I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit to you. Okay, excellent. Ready? And... 
Come see Nathan. <laughs> Come see me. <laughs> you are fantastic. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much you so much for joining us. Oh, we thanks appreciate for having it. me. We oh, could do so this all day. Yes, exactly. It's all right. You don't all right. want to hear us try that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. I'll give you. I'll give you pointers. It's fine. We're going to start a little session. All right. All right. Well, we'll do that after that. That and the tap dancing. We like that. All right. Nathan Fan is here in Pittsburgh performing as part of the Cultural Trust Liberty Magic Series through May 29th, and you can find all the info you need on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. You have something else in your hands. <gasps> <gasps> oh! <Magic. laughs> that was awesome. We're going to keep you here for the rest of the hour. <laughs>